In this tutorial, we will learn about value function. So what is value function? Type here equal to value and click here. We got the insert function dialog box for value. So what does this value do? It converts a text string that represents a number to a number. That means if a number stored as text, it will convert that text into a number. So let's see how it works. So first here you can see rupees 125. So as we can see it is stored as a number and here it is stored as a date, it is a time, it is a percentage, in a date, it is a pure text and this is a number stored as a text. You can see here a apostrophe before 1 to 5. So let's see what type of results we will get when we use value function for this text strings. So equal to value. Select this bracket close and enter. You can see convert this value to 125. That means if it is a number, it removes all the formattings and gives us pure number. Then if I drag this till the end, here you can see we have a date. So it returns the date value of this date. Then time. It also convert this time into a pure number format. Here 50%. 50% is 0.5. And here it is also a text. That means a date. Sorry. It is a date. It converts the date into a date value or a pure number. Orange. This is a pure text. That's why it does not return any number. It is an error value. And here this number is a text here we have apostrophe before 1 to 5 so it converts this text into a number so how can we use this value function in our real life so we have to understand this with our example 2 so here you can see we have seven numbers but if we want to do a sum press alter equal to it selects up to this. It doesn't select this cell because this cell is stored as text. Now let's select all these cells and press enter. We can see here we got the total 200. This number is 105 and this is 95. That's why it's 200. And these numbers are stored as text. As you can see, these numbers are left aligned. Now we'll convert these numbers into a pure number. So type here equal to value. Select this cell, bracket close and enter. So you can see it is left aligned and it is right aligned. That means this number is converted into a pure number. Now drag this till the end. So we can see here we cannot change these numbers into a number. So why? Because here we have a space between this number and here we have a line break you can see here we have used a char function we have already understood the char function this char 10 represents a line break so you can see here if I use wrap text it got into two lines that's why we cannot convert these numbers so to convert these type of numbers you have to use substitute functions to remove this space and here also you have to use substitute function to remove this line break so here before using the value function we have to convert this number into a text so type here equal to substitute our text string is this one comma old value is our space because we have a space here comma our new text will be just null value bracket close and enter so we got 505 the space has gone now we have to convert this number into a value so here you have to type value then at the end bracket close and enter you can see it is right aligned that means this converted into a pure number. 
now here we have to use substitute text will be this one comma so to remove the line break use char break for uh, char 10 for the old text then comma new text will be null value then bracket close and enter so we got 101 so now if we do the wrap text it doesn't work here it is working but here it is not working so now we will convert this into a number value at the end bracket close and enter now if we add this number alter equal to you can see automatically all the cells are selected I press enter the total is 1865 now here we have another example that is 50 mangoes 20 mangoes in this way we have some values now if we want to add this value we cannot add this so first we have to get these numbers after that we can add this so here we we'll use equal to left then select this number comma so how many characters we will take from the left here are two characters for numbers here are three characters for numbers so to get this we can use find function find so from where we have to find from this text comma sorry find text which one we have to find we will find the space where is space located because here after two digit here it is after three digit so space comma within text where we will find this blank or space we will find within this text comma start number so we don't need to use this start number because it will be started from the beginning bracket close and enter so we got here the value 50 but we can see that this number is left aligned that means it is stored as text we cannot add this number you can see here drag this we got all the value but if we want to add this it is zero so before adding this number we have to convert this into a value or number so here we have to type value then bracket close here enter so it is stored as number now you can see it is right aligned now drag this till here now we can add this number so with the help of this function we can add all this so how to do that so if I drag this here you can see we got 0 why it is so we cannot sum this text so before that we have to use this function here so in a array so first you have to use to make this sum you have to use sum product equal to sum product then we have to put 2 minus to make the value positive then left so what are the text these are the text comma number of characters find find text will be space comma within text will be this one then bracket close for find and bracket close for left and bracket close for sum product now control enter so we got here 395 as it is and here if we want to add mangoes then at the end you have to type and within quotation space mangoes now quotation close enter so we got 395 mangoes if you change here to 60 you can see 400 mangoes so in this way you can also add the text 
with the help of values so you might think we have not used here value because instead of value we have used here two minuses two minus we can use here value and after the left here you can close it and control enter but here the value does not work so if you want to add this number you have to use two minus after the sum product so i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section i will surely reply you thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial